Saturday, June 20th, 1942. I haven't written for a few days because I wanted to, first of all, think about my diary. Not only because I have never done so before, but because it seems to me that neither I, nor for that matter anyone else, will be interested in the, the embossings of a 13-year-old schoolgirl. You see, with my friends we just have fun and joke, nothing more. I can never bring myself to talk of anything outside the common round. I hope I shall be able to confide in you completely. I want this diary to be my friend, and I will call my friend Kitty. Wednesday, July 8th, 1942. Dear Kitty, my older sister Margot got a call up today. Everyone knows what that means. Picture concentration camps and lonely cells. Daddy says Margot will not go, and we are going into hiding. Margo and I began to pack some of our most vital belongings into a school satchel. First thing was this diary, then hair curlers, handkerchiefs, school books, comb, old letters. I put in the craziest things with the idea that we were going into hiding. But I'm sorry, memories mean more to me than dresses. Saturday, July 11th, 1942. I expect you will be interested to hear what it feels like to hide. Well, all I can say is that I don't know myself yet. I don't think I shall ever feel really at home, home in this house attic, but that does not mean that I loathe it here. Of course, we're not allowed to look out the window or go outside. Also, we have to do everything softly in case they hear us below. We've even forbidden Margo to cough, even though she has a bad cold. The fact that we can never go outside bothers me more than I can say. Anne, time for supper. Someone is calling me. Saturday, July 15th, 1944. It's really a wonder that I haven't dropped all of my ideals, because they seem so absurd and impossible to carry out. Yeah, I keep them, because, in spite of everything, I still believe that people are truly good at heart. I can feel the sufferings of millions, and yet, if I look up into the heavens, I think that it will all come right, that this cruelty will end, that peace and tranquility will return again. Come, Anne. Meep has brought us fresh strawberries. In the meantime, I must uphold my ideals, for perhaps the time will come when I shall be able to carry them out. Yours, 